<laughs> That's crazy, man. My brother pulled up and shit. <laughs> this nigga done pulled up and shit. That shit be crazy. <laughs> hey, you done pulled up and shit. <laughs> hey, bro, my inbox crazy right now. Phone blowing up and shit, bro. I'm like. Bro, I'm like, hey. everybody calling, everybody, motherfuckers trying to pull up and shit. It's crazy. <laughs> I got water all over. <laughs> <laughs> this nigga done pulled up. Yeah, I just got off the phone with old boy, though. That's uh, Stanley, dude. Uh, yeah, uh, I just talked to his people. Okay. Uh, the, the other homie and shit. Yeah, we 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 good. Yeah, but me, you know me, me and Stanley real cool though. Yeah. So it's, you know, we he he know what's going on. It's supposed to be better. Than that. You said I ain't call you back. Yeah, Janira, I had too much going on. <laughs> I had too much going on real quick. I had to get some shit taken care. Of. Hello. Hey, what's up, man? <laughs> Come on, <laughs> Fat Matt. Boy, you need to wash your face. Mm -hmm. <laughs> hey, I appreciate that, Chris. All right, y'all, we back, man. Questions and answers, man. Um, first things first. Yeah, Danny, I'm good, bro. <laughs> He said, you okay, bro? Hey, look at that little try right there, um, Muhammad, right there. As soon as you walk around that corner. Bro, everybody hitting me up. Yeah, I'm 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 cool. I'm good. I'm good, man. I'm good. Like it's my phone blowing up, text message blowing up, inbox blowing up, people trying to pull up. Nah, I'm I'm good, man. I'm good. I'm real good. When folk? Uh I ain't show sure yet. <laughs> you say you had to call Dallas for me? Hey, bro, you know them my cousins, bro. They going off top, bro. That's... I, boy. Man, bro, people just really don't know how deep this shit get. This shit get deep, bro. But I don't be trying to be on that. That ain't even that. Goddamn, George Lewis Soto. What's the business, motherfucking George? Um... I know if anybody know anything about shit, I know you do. Um, first, first things first, bro. Let's let's start back from the beginning. Um, come for four K. So how would it work for four point oh? And would that be a trophy for a winner or winners? Two. He down there just had to run in a jump. <laughs> Bro, y'all crazy, dog. <laughs> Damn, you all, bro, that fat. Bro, y'all crazy. <laughs> bro, bro, y'all, y'all gotta chill, dog. Y'all gotta chill, bro. I gotta do better, though. Like seriously, I, I really have to learn how to, how to um. I really gotta do better on on certain situations, man. Um, I really got to do better. You know, the good come with the bad. He said, join this part of the game. Why you think I only do one show now? I barely even want to do one. Yeah, yeah bro. I already understand it, bro. The good come with the bad for sure. June, buy me a chain too. I know you got a new one coming. Boy, I ain't buying no chains, bro. I ain't buying no chains. I ain't buying no jewelry. You know, Chan, I don't be on that, bro. Like, I don't, I don't really care about money like that, bro. Like, I'm not a flashy person. And I, I really think that's why I, a lot of people is upset, bro. People think that I just made... I'm not finna get on here and talk about the money that I made, bro. Like, so many people that count in my pockets, bro, and feel like I made so much money, bro, with my show. Bro, y'all don't understand, bro, how much money I even put into this. 
Y'all don't understand what I went through to throw this shit. Bro, y'all don't understand what I got going away from this shit. Bro, I got kids in different states and cities and shit. Like, bro, I got a lot of shit going on, bro. Like, a lot of people just looking at it like, I paid this, I paid that to get in, so I know he made this, I know he made that. But, bro, I'm not God, bro. Like, I go through shit, too. Like, y'all y'all just looking at it like, oh, I know he made this amount of money um, because of how big that show was, bro. I don't give a fuck about no money, dog. Like, I'm not a money-driven person. Money is not the motive for me. Like, money might be the motive for what, baby? Daddy, I want you. Huh? I want you. This is my motive right here. Deontay, come here. That's my motive right there, bro. Y'all think this shit a game, bro? I don't give a fuck about no money. That's my motive right there. Come here, fat man. Y'all bullshitting. Hey. Uh. You love me? Yes? You love daddy? Mm, I love you too. Daddy, I want you. Huh? I want you. Daddy. Tell me you love me and then I'll give you juice. Um, I love daddy. You love daddy? Mm, daddy love you too. Tell big brother to give you juice. Like, bro, y'all sitting up here worried about money, bro. That's what I'm worried about. And and that's why I get so loose so fast, bro, because, bro, I'm not finna let y'all take me away from my kids, bro. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm not gonna let nobody hurt me, bro. I'm not gonna let nobody... I'm not gonna let nobody take me away from my kids, dog. So, y'all gotta understand, bro, I'm, I'm, I'm passionate, dog. Like, I'm, I'm not a gangster, bro. I'm not a thug. I'm, I'm, I'm not... This this super hardcore person, bro. That's not me. Like I'm I'm not trying to be on here and be somebody that I'm not. Like, bro, I live for them. Like I'm not finna go go try to buy no fancy cars and clothes and shoes and jewelry, bro. From no fucking show. I don't give a fuck about no money, bro. Money cool. As long as I can take care of my priorities and shit, bro. That's that's all I care about. Long as I can buy them what they want when they want. But that's all I care about. Nigga, after my show, I wore the same clothes two days straight. Huh? Yeah, yeah. I wore the same clothes two days straight. Somebody else probably would have been out there trying to splurge and shit. Bro, I'm up here chopping it up with y'all, trying to see, you know, what what you felt like could have done better, what, what was good, what was bad. You know, in, instead of anybody coming to me trying to say, the only complaints that anybody had, <laughs> the only complaints that... Anybody have birds the line. Like in I seen somebody say, um, gun law it um guns are um Texas is open carry, so I'm not I'm not buying that metal detector shit. Bro, I don't give a fuck about no Texas laws. My kids are three, four, six, and eight. Every last one of my kids. Every last one of my kids was at that show. I'm not letting you niggas in my show with no goddamn guns and knives, nigga. I don't give a fuck about Texas being no open carry law, nigga. Fuck Texas. I don't give a fuck about Texas being no open carry law. I'm not letting you niggas in my show with no motherfucking guns and knives. I don't give a fuck about none of that shit. I'd rather take the blame for them lines being long, which we, we all knew they was going to be long, than one... Bruh, if you know anything about the streets, if you're a street type of person, a hood type of person, or even a person with common sense, you know one thing, bruh. When somebody got a gun or a knife on them, they feel powerful, or they, they feel like they feel more of a person... Than, than what they really are or how they normally be. So I'd rather take this heat right here about how long the line was than to take the heat on somebody being in there being extra aggressive and feeling extra cocky because he know he got a gun or a knife on him. Now, I don't need more staff, bro. He say just suggestion is more staff for bringing people in so instead... It, it, I have enough staff. The staff is not the problem. Bro, y'all got to understand. The show's supposed to open. The door's supposed to open at 8. They shut us down 25 minutes before it was time to open. 
Say, the doors didn't open to 1030. It's already thousands of people outside. I can't let y'all bomb rush in the building, bro. It's not going to happen. It has nothing to do with staff. I only had three metal detectors. You got to understand, there are fire marshals, you have a venue, and you have security. I have rules to abide by as well. <laughs> I can't just do what I want to do. If it was up to me, hell yeah, y'all, come on, let's go, let's go, let's go. Now, I just got off the phone with Leon because his partner, the one who made the post, and Leon was right. And these are the adjustments that I'm going to make. I do listen to my people. When it comes to people that pay for VIP booths, I should have let VIP go go in through the skip line. And I should have gave my, my people at the front the list of the VIP people. So when they do come in, VIP people can say, oh, I got VIP booth this. And they go in through the skip line. So he, he was right. That's... That's that's something that that I, you know, that's that's something that I'm most definitely gonna make that adjustment right there. I do feel like he he was right. I don't care how I feel. He was right. That's that that's that's something that I am gonna fix. Um, that adjustment that I'm going to make. Um, because I do feel him on that. Like he said, when you go to a club, regardless of who outside, regardless of what line they in, when you pay for VIP, you do go straight through the straight through the club. He right. That's that was a good way to put it. He most definitely um made me understand. Um, so I, I appreciate him for that. I'm most definitely gonna make that adjustment right there. Um, so for the people that get a VIP booth, they will be able to to go through the skip line. Um, but um, whoever go through the skip line, it has to be the person that actually um booked the booth. Because that's the name that I'm going to write down. It can't be your partner. You know, it can't be your homeboy. You know, it, it has to be um, the person who actually booked the booth. So he'll be able to say, hey, um, I'm, I'm VIP booth. You know, whatever, whatever. Leon, I appreciate you, bro, for real. Um, Leon Walls, that's him right there. Bro, I, I really appreciate you, dog. You know, like I said, bro, I'm, I'm, I'm not hard to deal with. Um, any, any issues, um, any issues that, that you may have when it comes to my show, um, why you in the building, you have to understand that I'm getting pulled in a hundred different directions, bro, because my crowd don't listen to nobody else but me, um, about the team going in through the skip line. What team? Yeah, if, 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 if the... If if the team if somebody have VIP, then you have to be with your team. You can't just anybody just come through the line, dog. Like this, y'all gotta understand. Shit gotta be organized, dog. Um, if you was in my shoes, you probably wouldn't be able to handle that shit. Some of y'all probably y'all either would have shut that show down or y'all would have left, or y'all probably wouldn't even even dealt with that crowd, bro. Like, it's easy for any of y'all to sit back and say what should have been done, what could have been done, what you could have did better, what you shouldn't have done, what you could have done, what this and what that. Bro, I promise y'all, how many of y'all can really deal with over 5,000 people, bro? I didn't say 5,000, I said over. We gonna know the exact count um today. And I tell y'all how many people was really there, dog. <laughs> but how many of y'all can really deal with at least 5,000 people at one time, bro? And my crowd don't care about what security say. They don't care about what the police say. They don't care about what the staff say. All they care about is what June say. Say, bro, I'm a dog, man. See, people, see, y'all got people calling my phone because they think something wrong. Hey, I, I'm a, Hey, if he if he call back, I'm gonna have to give you Rolo number so you can call Rolo and let him know that I'm okay. Yeah. <clears throat> um, hold up, I'm gonna I'm go to his I'm gonna go to his to his page right quick and just write him write him on Facebook and let him know that I'm good. I ain't I ain't no problem. Cause he he blowing me up right now. And I already know what they on, but tell him tell him I'm okay.
Here, write them, write them right quick and let them know I'm good. I don't, I don't need nothing. <clears throat> um, but like it's, 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 it's not, it's, it's not easy to deal with that many people at one time, bro. Like, <laughs> say, bro, anybody who stopped me, whether I was brief or 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 whether I stood there and talked. I'm getting pulled every which way, bro. I'm getting pulled every which way. So I can't I, I can't accommodate everybody and everybody issues, bro. Um at the same time. Um but one thing I, you wrote them? Yeah. Okay. Thank you. <clears throat> um but you know, I, I do listen to to complaints, but one thing we do know it's not easy to, to deal with a show like mine. It's not easy to deal with a line like that, bro. <laughs> hey, um, and and I I seen somebody said I'm not buying that shit. He said, um, two hours, two we that he made us wait for two and a half hours, uh, just to get in because of a forklift oil spill, <laughs> bro. Why would you think I'm gonna make y'all wait outside, bro? And I'm trying to get my show going. <laughs> so, I'm going to make y'all wait outside just to wait outside. Shit, I'm trying to get this motherfucker going just as fast as y'all. <laughs> Shit. The fuck I'm going to make you stay outside for when I'm trying to get this bitch going too. Shit, I'm trying to get going too. Shit, I'm not trying to make y'all stay outside. Shit, over half of the time, if you see me. Shit, I was outside too. Shit, it was cold outside. It was hot outside. Nigga, it was freezing outside. I ain't had no jacket on. Shit, when it was hot outside, I was out there bitch sweating too. Shit. I wish I could have opened the fucking doors and let y'all in that bitch so I could have went in and stayed my ass inside. Shit, I ain't finna make, make y'all ass wait outside. <laughs> let me know where you already know. He trying, They trying to pull up. <laughs> I already know how they coming too. We all going to jail today. For real. I don't... That's why, bro, I really be trying to chill, bro, because even shit that I be chill on, I know how my people trying to come. I I know I know how it goes. Now, I ain't on that. Like, I don't, I don't want nobody hurt. I ain't trying to get hurt. I ain't trying to get no, no people family hurt, bro. I know how this shit go. But <clears throat> let me I'm get back on track. Um, But, like, I would want everybody to get in the building, too, bro. Like... But it's 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 nothing I can do. Um, I have he wrote back. I I have I have shit to abide by too. You know, even though it's my show, I have to listen to what the venue say. I have to listen to what the fire marshal say. You know, and I ain't gonna lie. Um, I hit you after the liar, bro, and chop it up with you, Stanley. I got you. I just got off the phone with Leon, bro. So I got you, bro. Um, shit gotta go, booze. Just seeing me watching your live talk later. Good show, appreciate it. Yeah, but it's it's just it's a lot to deal with, dog. Like it's 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 not easy to um deal with a show of of that caliber. Um, and shit, if I could, I open the doors. Nah, I can't open the doors at seven. I I was just finna say I open the doors at seven. I'm finna lie to y'all like a motherfucker. I cannot open the fucking doors at seven. Like we didn't leave that venue. Um, to, to, to fucking three o'clock in the morning. We had to be right back to the venue at seven. I didn't even make it to the venue to to eight. I was tired as hell. So, shit, bro. I was that shit was crazy. So I was running off of no sleep, but we still made it happen. Um, but. You know, them shutting us down 25 minutes before doors open. Shit, I came outside and let people know. But it's shit. When they when they told us we can let everybody else in, it's just it's nothing I could have did, bro. Um, the only thing that I can do is is search for a, ven a another venue to where you know the the um the the entrances have more doors. To where I can have like more lines, but then too that's that's hard to do too. Shit. So you talking about the Cowboy Stadium? 
Like a cowboy stadium? Yeah, but he want like 80K. He want like 80,000 for the cowboy stadium. Can't get no bigger in Texas. You can only go to the cowboy stadium. Yeah, like that venue, that venue was 107,000 square feet, but it's only so many entrances, entrances you can you can come in because at the same time we still got to keep organization and we still have to be safe. Like we can we can easily say, "Okay, let's open up all these doors." But we only have so many metal detectors. We only have so many people. At the end of the day, safety first. Safety first. Safety first, bro. I can easily just let everybody come in and make the line move faster. But like I said, I caught three guns. I caught four knives. And somebody that went put their gun back up, he had bullets in his pocket. He forgot to take the bullets out of his pocket. So <laughs> it's like, it's, it's, it's a little bit different, man. Like. Hey, bro, it's, it's, it's not easy, bro. Um, American Bank Center and Corpus Christi. That's, that's Corpus not a good place to throw a show, bro. Like, y'all got to understand, location location in the name of your show is important, bro. Like, of course, um, um, Corpus, um, that, that Bank of America Center, that's a good venue, but that's not a good location to throw a show. How many people want to go to Corpus? Like, seriously, dog. Like where you throw your show at really matters, bro. Like it 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 really it really matters, bro. It um Dallas, that's somewhere where people want to go. Houston, that's somewhere where people want to go. Um somewhere in California, that's somewhere where people want to go. Um um Florida, that's somewhere where people want to go. Atlanta, there's somewhere where people want to go. Maybe Vegas. There's somewhere where people want to go. Um, like people want to go to places, even if they don't do nothing. People want to go to places where, if they do want to do something, they can go do it. Even though I didn't throw an after event, guess what? People had multiple places where they can go eat, where they can go club, where they can go sightsee, and things like that. If they want to go do it. You know, so your location really matters whether you throw a uh, after party or not. People still have somewhere um, where they can they can go eat good food and shit like that. Um, like my dog just said, um, Bozer City. You know, I'm either gonna take it to Shreveport or I'm gonna take it to New Orleans. Those are places where you can go to the casino. You know, you gonna get some good food. And shit like that. He said, only problem I had was consistent stand. Only one person there for a thought. No, there wasn't one person there consistent stand. There was six, seven people in consistent stand. You got to understand. Bro, they did not allow us to use their their equipment at consistent stand. Even though I bought our consistent stand, we were not allowed to use their equipment at consistent stand. So we had to use smokers. And, and crock pots to get y'all fresh food. What y'all want us to do? Cook it the night before or cook it that morning and then get y'all cold food? No, it does not work like that. <laughs> it does not work like that. But to show y'all, let me tell you what I'm going to show y'all. Just so y'all can, can feel where I'm coming from, I will not buy out concession stand this time. This time, I'm going to let concession stand be concession stand. And concession stand going to be... Pro Provided to y'all by um, the venue people, y'all gonna get some stale ass nachos. You gonna get some um, some bullshit ass hot dogs, and you gonna get them dry ass hamburgers with that little ass patty. And they gonna run out of food by two o'clock. <laughs> he say, June ever thought about doing ticket pre sales? That's not gonna work. You wanna know why ticket pre sales not gonna work? Because my crowd is too big. So if I do ticket pre-sales, you got people that's already in line at 5 or 6 o'clock. So when I let people in that already bought tickets online, the people that's been there at 5 or 6 o'clock going to have a problem with that shit. See, you can come up with all the ideas that you want, dog. But the reality is, until you deal with a crowd like mine, Y'all not going to understand this shit. Come up with whatever you want. I told y'all the fucking world is going to come out. Y'all steady. That shit sound good. Of course, the world coming out. Y'all come in and make it post. Yeah, the world coming out. But then when the fucking world come out. 
When the fucking word actually come out. Oh, it's a problem with the lie. Oh <laughs> what the fuck you want me to do? You want me to bring the world out? Or you want me to throw you a show with a hundred people, man? What you want? What what you want me to do? You want me to bring the fucking world out? Or you want me to throw you a, a, a show in the park? Or you want me to throw a little ass show outside? Fuck you want me to do, man? <laughs> what you want me to do? Like I'm just saying, shit. What, what, what you want me to do? You know, even when I talked to Leon, Leon told me I could up the prices, you know, on VIP or, or the skip line to, uh, to, you know, to let people in. Just like I told my doctor, and Leon to tell you, I even told him. I said, bro, I'm not going to up the prices. I'm, I'm not greedy, bro. I don't care about money. Y'all keep talking about how much money I made. Of course, there's a lot of fucking people there. Nigga, I brought you my whole platform. How much money you made or could have possibly made. But I'm, I'm not going to up my prices because I don't care about money like that. I don't care to, to charge y'all extra money because I know I can or charge extra money because I know I can get you in faster or I don't, I don't care about that, bro. Like, I don't give a fuck about no goddamn money. Like... I don't, I'm just not going to do that to make extra money. Kendrick, hell yeah, I'm good, bro. You you already know, bro. You know you know if I got any issues. You know, when it, when it's up, 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 you know I know know the people I can make, make I make the whole Dallas shake. <laughs> but yeah, I'm good, bro. I'm real good, man. I, I just tripped out a little bit earlier, but I'm back on track, bro. I'm, I'm good, though. You know, I need to make shit shake, you know what time it is. But um, it's it's just it's it's you know it's it's some things. It, and as y'all know, bro, I always make adjustments, man. You know, anytime, um, anytime we have any issues, bro, each show get bigger and better. Each show get bigger and better, man. I'm still proud of of um of of what we did. Um, I'm I'm proud of my staff. I'm proud. Hey, pop, see. Hey, see, y'all got my hood niggas on here. These niggas don't even breathe, dogs, bro. Y'all got... See, that's why I don't like to show out or, or, or get aggravated or act out, bro, because all of my people get to getting riled up and shit, bro. I, I hate that. I'm sorry, y'all, but yeah, I'm good, though. Um, I just... I, this shit... It's, 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 it's crazy, man. <clears throat> so how we get on the list for 4.0? <laughs> Hey, y'all gotta wait. Y'all just gotta wait for 4.0, bro. Um I I gotta figure out the the best place and the best venue um to throw it. Cause like I said, man, I I have to I have to find a venue with with um with with more openness for people to come in um with Without overworking my staff and us being um, safe at the same time. Yeah, I think it's, I think it's, Let's get a OD English Bulldog class. We out here too, bro. Hey, Eric. Hey, Eric. I'm going to tell you this. If you can get enough ODs to come out and y'all can assure me that enough ODs will come out, I can make a class, bro. Um, my show, my rules, no, no registry. I can do whatever I want. Just like I opened up a class for the many English Bulldogs, if y'all can get enough ODs to come out, at least, I say at least 10 or 15 ODs, I will make a class for that. I, I have no issue or no problem with that. I can most definitely make that happen. Um, But like I said, bro, with a crowd like this, y'all have to expect long lines, man. We had a two-hour delay. Yeah, like a two-hour and a half delay. You know, and whether you believe it or not, shit, you can call the fucking venue. But why would I not let people in? <laughs> why would I not let people in if I'm gonna make money? If if I'm just about money and I just ripped off everybody, I just care about money that that much. Why would I let y'all in so I can just make my money? Come on, bro. I'm always out. You got no reason to keep y'all outside if I'm there. Shit, I'm already at the building. I ain't got no reason to make y'all wait. Shit, I'm going to let y'all come in. Fuck, I'm, I want y'all to come in so we can go and get this shit out the way. But 
like these, the only complaints that I'm really seeing is people talking about the line, people being in line for hours. Fuck, the fucking world came out and y'all knew the world was coming out. So it's like, what, what you expect? You know, we get shut down. We get shut down, you know, 25 minutes before before it's time to open and we get shut down for two and a half hours. By the time we open back up, it's goddamn thousands of people already outside. Shit, it's like, what else you want me to do? You want me to just let people bomb rush, bomb rush in? And then, oh yeah, we firing the security. Hey, that's another security fire. We ain't even got to worry about that shit no more. They out of there. Like, because we, we had them other set of double doors over there. And this nigga told me we can't, we can't open up the other set of double doors because it's, it's going to be an issue. They don't have enough manpower to watch both doors. I mean, both sides. And we not going to do it unless you can get one of the people in your staff to stay here and he can't move. I paid these motherfuckers and they telling me what to do. But at the end of the day, how can I sit there and argue with them? Like, I can't sit there and be confrontational with the people that I done paid at my event. Like, I can't do that. You can't do that. You know, it's, it's, you know it's, it's certain levels, you know, and certain things that you just can't do. And you can't cause confrontation at your own show in front of all these people. You know, certain things, certain times, I just have to bite my tongue and, and deal with that shit, whether I like it or not. And even though I know it's making my people mad, guess what? I'm mad and I'm pissed off too. But I, I can't react how I want to react because at the end of the day, it's business. So technically, we really didn't have any problems. Minus the two hours. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie. He kind of hold me. <laughs> he kind of made me feel like a little bitch. But it's like, it's nothing I can do. Like at the end of the day, it's, I can't argue with him. You know, I sit there and argue with him. He's like, fuck it. Nigga, we taking our people, we leaving. You know, so it's it's just it's certain things that I, I, I can't do. You know, it's, it's just certain things I have to deal with that y'all don't see that go on behind the scenes. Um, but they most definitely won't be coming back. Um, that's they most definitely won't be coming back. Um and, and I, I do feel like um I feel like my staff most definitely wasn't the problem at all. Um my staff most definitely wasn't the problem. Um my biggest issue was with security. Um, the police did a good job. Um, he was real cool, but he was strict. He was kind of mean. The sergeant, yeah, he was like he was real cool, but he was kind of mean. He wasn't mean to me, but like certain shit, yeah, he was mean. He was mean as hell. Yeah, he wasn't fucking around. Yeah, yeah, he was. He wasn't fucking around, bro. Like he was. He was mean. He said, "What was the announcement that was supposed to be Sunday?" Um, I had already addressed it, bro. Um, some people, somebody had broken somebody's vehicle on um, Friday during setup time, but did nothing happen on um, Saturday. Saturday was cool. That's why I just left it alone. Um, I left it alone because Saturday was cool. Like, and with somebody car getting broken that that Friday, I was like, bro, Saturday finna be real fucked up because I knew so many people was gonna come out. Um, he say he was just doing his job. I like him. Yeah, bro, that police, he wasn't fucking around at all, bro. Like, he was on his shit. You finna shoot somebody? Show him your gun. Show him your gun. Look, show him, Chucky. Show him your gun. Point it. You mean mugging him? Let, let him see your gun. Show him your gun. Point it. You don't want to show him? Look at that. <laughs> Look at that. Oh, they coming from everywhere. Hold up now. Hold up. <laughs> Hold up now. <laughs> Hold up. Hey, boy. Say, they think, hey. Say, boy. Boy, they just don't know. This motherfucker come real. <laughs> hey. Hey, man. He get real. <laughs> hey. <laughs> he get real, real fast. <laughs> hey, hold, hold, hey, hey, he get real, real fast, man, boy. <laughs> hey, they all play about their daddy, boy. Hey. <laughs> 
Hey, they don't play behind they daddy, boy. And y'all think I be tripping. No, I don't be tripping. It's just I'm going to make it behind my babies, bro. If I feel like my life in danger, bro, or if I feel threatened or I feel any type of way, bro, I'm going to make it shake, bro. Hey, we still going to make that shake, though. I ain't going to let that go. Um, hey, they step, they stepping behind their daddy, boy. <laughs> Hold on, <no. laughs> Hold on, man. <laughs> Do you have pictures of who won trophies or can you tag the winners? Um, they'll post them later, bro. Um, of course, you know, it takes time for the camera people. Um, I know Zeb already got pictures. Uh, he just asked me for my WhatsApp. Um, so, <laughs> Zeb already got pictures. I got some other pictures, too. Um, I'll post later on or in a few. Um, they said, I bet we get... <laughs> say, man, say. <laughs> but, <laughs> hey, overall, man, we most definitely had a good show. Um, it was a lot of adjustments made. Um, um, we most definitely had a better part on 3.0 than 2.0. Um, we, we most definitely did good, man. We ain't had no fight. Uh, uh, a couple of arguments, bro. But other than that, you know, the other issues that we had, bro, I, I most definitely gonna make the adjustments on that. I'm not gonna address my people or my staff. Um, I'm not addressing no judges on the internet or at the show, bro. We don't do that. Um, I, I, it, that's it's not for the internet for me to, to, to address issues um with my staff, um, in the public. Um, uh, that's 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 not for the public eyes or the public ears. Um, I know. I know what went bad. I know what went good. I know um, what was done that shouldn't have been done. Um, and I also listen listen to my people um, in order to make adjustments. So I do understand um, a lot of things, man. You know, we just, you know, it's, it's going to be some adjustments made. You know, we, we, we live and we learn, you know, some. But overall, man, we had a great show. Great turnout, man. No fights. Um, once things did get rolling, we was rolling. Um, shit, a lot of good vibes, man. Uh, y'all know I'm, I'm the first. Rolo. <laughs> hey, Rolo, blowing the phone up, bro. He was trying to see, trying to see what the business is. Rolo, I'm gonna hit you up, though, cause we, we, I got, I'm, I'm gonna let you know. I'm gonna have to meet up with you, though. I ain't, we ain't gonna talk on the phone. <clears throat> but. Um, overall, man, we had a great show, man. We had a great time. Um, it's just we got thrown off on the time, man. You know, we'll make it better. Uh, Louisiana 4.0. Uh, we might, man. Louisiana, maybe Houston. Um, uh, October, doing a cool, a cool month. Yeah, that be, hey, I ain't even get a chance to even eat at my own show. I ain't get nothing to drink. I ain't get nothing to eat. No, nothing, bro. Like I ain't even get a chance to eat or drink at my own show. I ain't I ain't get a chance to taste nothing in um VIP. I ain't get a chance to taste nothing at concession stand. But I was working the whole time, bro. The whole time, bro, I was working. Like I didn't I didn't even get a chance to get a break myself. You know, so you know. But like I said, man, uh, the only complaints, you know, is you know people complaining about the line, but. Shit, you know, ain't, ain't ain't too much we can do, man. The police need to concerts. You know, ain't ain't too much we can do if we get shut down. Um, and if if I'm there at eight o'clock, there's no reason for me to not open the doors unless I'm told to not open the doors. So, shit, what else y'all want me to do? I can't do too much. He say bring back the podcast. Hell yeah, we can do podcasts. You got um Stevie Dre and them with their podcast. Uh, you got Nino and them with their podcast. You got OG Booby Black Wild Ass. <laughs> OG Wild as hell, dog. <laughs> OG Wild as hell, bro. Like for real, for real. 
That shit, you got OG doing his podcast. Shit, you know, shit, hey, we can do whatever. Y'all know I'm always um I'm always open open for suggestions, man, to to have something that's gonna help us have fun, man. Um you know, well you know, whatever whatever suggestions y'all have, like some shit that what people don't take as serious, bro. Like, you know, we wanna be serious at shows, we wanna compete at shows. But we want to have fun too, bro. Like we don't just want to do shit to where everybody just so serious and everybody just getting so mad and shit like that, man. Like we want to do shit to have fun too. So, you no, know, it is what it is. We gonna make adjustments, man. We had fun. Um, uh, good show. You know, like I said, man, we had we had a couple of complaints, but most of the complaints was about the line, dog. I just don't think a lot of people understood um why why the line was like it was and why things was like it was. So um and people complained about concession stand a little bit, but I love my concession stand people. Yeah. I had nothing bad to say about my concession stand people. You know, it just was what it was. Ain't my fault that shit was good and it was fifty million people back there trying to get it. <laughs> Shit, they can only move so fast. Shit, water tables and let us bring in water so we can have basic necessities if we can't get alcohol or soda. Um, The thing about the tables, the thing about the tables, bro, you have to understand, is those are not my tables. <laughs> bro, I have to give you whatever tables... That the Pipe and Drake people want me to get y'all. I have no control over the tables, bro. I paid $36,000 for pipes, drapes, tables, and chairs. Them not putting the the the, the um outs, the, the, the things on the outside, the, the, the pipes and the drapes on the outside had nothing to do with me, dog. I paid $36,000. I should be the one fucking mad. I paid thirty six thousand dollars and they didn't have enough. Which of course they told me they had enough when I spent my money. But once once they got to working, oh, is we don't we don't have enough. That's not my fault, bro. There's nothing that I can do. Them having bigger and wider tables, that's out of my control, dog. There's nothing I can do. And as far as the water go, you could have easily brought water in there. The only thing is, you can only bring gallons of water in. If you had gallons of water, you could have brought gallons of water in. But as far as bringing um, bottles of water, no, I'm not going to let you bring bottles of water in because I paid $7,500 to buy a concession stand. I paid over $6,000 for water, food, and all of that. I paid $13,000, $14,000 easily and it, probably more just to run a concession stand. So, of course... Um, I'm not going to let you bring in your own water because I'm providing it. I can't control how fast concession stand move because it's hundreds of people trying to get to concession stand. People can only serve you um, as fast as they could, you know, without wasting food, knocking food over and giving you cold ass food. And as far as it's not letting y'all bring in alcohol, of course, I'm not going to let y'all bring in alcohol. One thing that I learned, the reason why we didn't have no fights at the show is because y'all didn't, wasn't able to drink. It was no alcohol in the building. There was no beer in the building. Every time I allow alcohol or beer in my show, y'all fight. Not saying you or, or y'all, but y'all just know that's how I talk. But every time I allow liquor and alcohol in the building, there's a fight. Guess what? Soon as I say no alcohol, no beer, we didn't have a fight. Guess what? Anytime there's a fight at a show, one of those people that's fighting is drunk. Every time. I've been going to shows for seven years. Every time there's a fight, there's at least one drunk person involved in that fight. Guess what? Take away alcohol and beer, over 5,000 people at the show, no fights. Over five real niggas, gangsters, thugs, mean people, crazy people, everything at the show and no fight. You want to know why? Because they wasn't drunk. That's why.
That's just it's 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 just what it is, bro. Regardless, regardless of what I do, everybody not gonna be happy. Like y'all can suggest anything that y'all want to suggest. Guess what? If I if I make the adjustments for you to for me to accommodate how you felt with the problems that you felt, guess what? When I make those adjustments, somebody else gonna be mad too. Somebody let me allow let me allow y'all to bring in um water, juice, sodas. Guess what? My concession stand mad because they not making no money because everybody got their own shit. You know? Oh, not even um, let me let y'all bring liquor and alcohol in. Now we got a problem because it's guaranteed going to be a fight. Guaranteed it's going to be a fight. No ifs, ands, or buts about it. It's going to be a fight. So I take liquor away. Guess what? People are not happy because I'm not letting y'all bring in liquor and beer. You know? But like I said, safety first. It is what it is on that. My next show, I'm still not allowing um, liquor and beer. You know, I just wanted water. Like I said, bro, you can bring in you can bring in gallons of water. Well, matter of fact, shit, you can bring in water next time because I'm not even doing concession stand no more. Shit, you can bring in juice, water, sodas. You can bring in whatever you want to at 4.0 because I'm not I'm not buying our concession stand no more. Because I'm not putting my people through that shit. Bro, the way y'all disrespecting my staff back there at that concession stand, nigga, I refuse to put my people through that again, bro. I refuse to let my people be disrespected like that again. That shit took away time from me because I had to go back there and cuss y'all ass out and handle y'all accordingly because y'all was handling my people bad. I refuse to put my staff through that again. They would not go through that. They would not get talked to any type of way. I don't give a damn. We would have stuck y'all goddamn head in the crock pot or on that smoker before I let one of y'all put y'all hands. <laughs> before I let one of y'all put y'all hands on my people, we would have put y'all motherfucking head in one of those smokers. <laughs> y'all got me fucked up. Y'all think I'm going to let y'all put y'all hands on my people. <laughs> My people back there sweating in that goddamn kitchen. They won't let us use their equipment. My people back there sweating in their kitchen, trying to keep that fucking food warm so y'all won't be mad. Man, we'll put y'all motherfucking head in that smoker. You think I'm finna let y'all put y'all hands on? <laughs> I think y'all finna let me let y'all put y'all hands on my people. <laughs> I don't give a damn what y'all talking about. Bitch, we'll smoke y'all whole goddamn head. People be talking about my hairline. Nigga, I'm getting old. Bitch, you have a hairline just like mine, motherfucker. Y'all motherfucking hair be way, way back farther than my shit. Your motherfucking hairline will be back here before y'all think I'm gonna let y'all put y'all head, put y'all hands on my motherfucking people. We'll smoke your whole goddamn head. <laughs> we'll smoke y'all whole goddamn head before y'all think I'm gonna let y'all put y'all hands on my staff, boy. We gon' fry the shit out y'all. <laughs> Talk about what you'll do to my people. You ain't putting your goddamn heads on my people. We gon' smoke the shit out your ass. You gonna be a whole hot link or a whole turkey leg around this motherfucker. <laughs> you gonna be a whole turkey leg around this bitch, man. <laughs> For real. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, hit me up if you need me. Okay, I got you. Alright, All right. I'm, I'm gonna have to meet with you today though, because we still gonna get, yeah, get that taken care of. Alright, Alright. Um, <laughs> but nah, bro, this this time, bro, I'm gonna let y'all deal. I'm gonna let the venue make their money, bro. Uh, Rex, what's up, man? Um, we most definitely gonna let y'all deal with um the venue staff. My people ain't going through that shit. Um, instead of my people back there getting talked crazy to and getting rushed and shit, I'm going to let y'all, y'all, them venue people can go through that shit while my staff up here doing some whole other more shit and kicking it in and taking care of registration or taking care of the line or, or whatever they need to be doing at the time. Bro, we, we most definitely not dealing with, uh, Thomas, what's up, my boy? Appreciate you for coming out, dog, for sure. 
Um, we we most definitely not doing that concession stand shit no more, bro. <laughs> Y'all can have that shit, dog. That shit ain't even worth the money, dog. Like I spent, I spent most definitely over thirteen thousand to even to even run concession stand, bro. So I don't even know if I even made made that back. Like I don't even care if I made it back, bro. We not doing that no more. I'm not even doing food trucks next time, bro. Y'all can just deal with the concession stand. Because this is what y'all gotta understand. Venues do if you don't buy, if you don't buy out um concession stand, venues do not allow outside food vendors. They do not allow food trucks. They do not allow you to sell food or um drinks at a show. That's one thing that y'all gotta understand. Y'all don't understand contracts. Y'all gotta understand that we do have contracts. And we do have rules to abide by too. So with me not buying out um concession stand, y'all gonna go through it and y'all gonna see. This that's gonna make y'all really appreciate what I just did. And that's gonna make y'all appreciate the people that actually work concession stand. But um regardless of what y'all say right now, I'm not buying out concession stand again because I want y'all to, to experience that. And when concession stand run out at two or three o'clock, it won't be no more food. It won't be no more nothing back there. I'm going to let y'all experience that so y'all can actually be able to appreciate what we just did um, Saturday. And y'all understand, bro, how rough it is when it comes to um, actually running concession stand. And for the people that did get a chance to get food from concession stand... Y'all will actually be able to see the difference in the concession stand food versus me putting them sisters back there. Yeah, I said it. Putting them sisters back there, not sisters, but putting them sisters back there and letting them put their foot in that food, boy. For real. So y'all going to actually get a chance to see how it is to not actually have real food back there and 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 not have and, and them not, you know, be able to deal with what, with what y'all was taking them through back there. Because them venue people are not going to put up with that shit. Them venue people are been to shut that bitch down on y'all. And told y'all no more food. They going home. And really y'all not even going to want that shit. Uh, y'all not even going to want that shit that they was serving. <laughs> y'all not even going to want that shit that they was serving. So the line not even going to be long like that back there. Because y'all ain't going to want them still. Um... Y'all not even gonna want them stale ass nachos with that thick ass government cheese. <laughs> that thick ass government cheese that they be melting. <laughs> oh shit. That thick ass government cheese that they be melting back there to put on y'all nachos with that fake ass meat. <laughs> with that fake ass meat that they be putting on. <laughs> hey, <laughs> that fake ass meat that they be putting on that government cheese. <laughs> I that they be putting on that government cheese with those stale ass nachos. <laughs> with those stale ass nachos, bro. <laughs> To the bathroom because your stomach hurt, then you gotta use the bathroom. Hey, <laughs> and then y'all know how we is. Hey, don't nobody want to go to the bathroom in no public place, bro. Hey, this crazy because this is nature, bro. Everybody has to boo boo. We all know that shit. But don't don't nobody want to have to go boo boo in no show or <laughs> no restaurant and shit. <laughs> Hey, y'all had to show me eat those stale ass nachos and those, those fucking dry ass hamburgers and shit. <laughs> y'all had to show eat those stale ass hamburgers and shit. Y'all stomach all hurting, y'all constipated, or y'all got diarrhea and shit. <coughs> y'all missing y'all classes. Y'all missing y'all classes and shit because your stomach fucked up. <laughs> Hey, 
Y'all gonna wish them sisters was back there in that motherfucking kitchen, dog. <laughs> Hey, and then y'all know how it is when people be coming in the bathroom, they be looking, they be looking at y'all's shoes and shit. <laughs> hey, they be looking under the stall and shit. <laughs> hey, they be looking under the stall and shit, looking at y'all's shoes and shit. <laughs> hey, so when y'all walk. <laughs> Hey, when y'all walk back in the show and shit, people be walking around looking at yeah. shoes. They be like, hey, that's the boy. What, baby? I want juice. You want juice? You ain't already had a juice? I want you. Oh, you want me? Oh, okay, you can sit with me then. Hey, so, hey, y'all, hey, y'all sitting up there. Hey, they up there, they see, they, they finally run into you. They finally run into you while y'all in the show. <laughs> and they see your shoes. And they walking around telling everybody, hey, there was an old boy that was in the bathroom. <laughs> hey, like you said, hey, I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to sell Pepto Bismol at the next show, bro. <laughs> like, <laughs> Baby, them gonna have the runs. They stomach gonna be hurting. They gonna be walking around with stains and stuff. You love me? I love you too. <laughs> you okay? What's wrong? You miss me? I miss you too. I'm going to sit with brother. Huh? I'm going to sleep. I'm going to play with brother. Okay, I'll see you in a little bit, okay? Okay, Okay, baby. <clears throat> Can we get six lines next time? Shit, you ain't got a fucking venue big enough to have six lines, bro. Shit, I wish we could. Oh, that's why I, I had to figure out what we're going to throw the next one at, bro. Um, because it's just... I don't know, bro. Y'all just don't understand how difficult that shit can be, man. That shit can be real difficult. That shit be crazy. But, no. It is what it is, man. Yeah, that's boss lady right there, man. Why, why this one? Super Dome? No. Uh, Super Dome don't allow people in unless you they had a COVID shot. <clears throat> um, That's why I'm not throwing it at the Super Dome because I know everybody don't have a COVID shot, man. Um, I, I most definitely thought about the um Texas, the Dallas Cowboys Stadium. But nigga, they want $80,000 for that bitch. Shit, hell to the no, 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 hell to the no. That's too much money. Too much money, man. Eighty thousand? I'm not paying no eighty thousand for no venue, bro. I ain't even a lot of y'all. I can't, I can't do it. Most definitely not gonna do it. <clears throat> but any more questions? Any more concerns? Any problems that anybody want to? Uh, to adjust, I mean, anybody, any problems that anybody want to talk to, talk about right now, bro, let's go and get that shit out the way. And don't nobody send me, don't send me no more screenshots, don't send me no, no more nothing, bro, about nothing negative. Um, cause out of thousands of people, <clears throat> for out of thousands of people, bro, we only got maybe 20 people that's mad. <laughs> so, but, <clears throat> Even with that many people happy and, and only a few people mad, um, I, I, I'm I still going to take into consideration <clears throat> of the people that's mad, too. Chelsea, what's happening, girl? But, you know, in the info, a dog who won the first. Damn, who won it? Um, oh, I do know who won it. Um... Can we talk about the dogs now? Laugh out loud. Super nice shit in there. Oh, yeah. It was some nice ass shit in there, bro. You know, I just wanted to adjust the issues, bro. I, I don't want to make the thing like the show went bad or it, it was just negative. It, it wasn't negative, bro. We we really had a great show. But you got to take the good with the bad, bro. You do have to um, you do have to address the bullshit in the negative the negative side, too, bro. Um, You, you have to do that. Like, that's... 
you know, you, you can't just get on the internet and make it seem like you just had this perfect show. Nothing went wrong. Nothing went bad. And you can't just ignore um the, the few problems that a few people had, bro. You have to address that shit. Like, you can't just ign ignore everything and ignore how your people feel. You know, because if, if you just act like you don't give a fuck about how people feel, that's that's how you lose your supporters, dog. Daddy, can you open this? Yes, baby. You you can't. <clears throat> there you go, baby. Thank you. You're welcome. Me and Chucky pop the chips at our house. Okay, baby. Like, you, you can't ignore how your people feel, bro. Like, whether they being disrespectful, whether they, they, they don't understand what they don't like, <clears throat> you, you have to address it, bro. You, you have to show people that you give a fuck. You can't just let shit go bad and, and, and you just be like, fuck it. I don't care. I made money. I don't give a fuck how y'all feel. I don't give a fuck how y'all felt about it. I don't give a fuck about no long ass line. You knew it was going to be long. No, you can't do that. Like, you, you have to take the good with the bad. You have to address it. And you have to take into consideration on how your people feel. So, you have to address it. Like, and like I can address it behind the scenes. But if they bring it out to the public, guess what? You have to publicly um, address the issue, bro. Because I do give a fuck. Like, some of y'all trying to count my pockets talking about um, how much I made. I don't even give a fuck about how much I... I don't even know how much I made. I don't even give a fuck about how much I made. Nigga, I care about how my people feel. Anybody else will probably be counting money right now or bragging about how much money they made. Nigga, I don't give a fuck about that shit. Nigga, I'm up here addressing my issues and talking to my people about what went wrong in front of everybody. It was almost... It was for over 400 people on here earlier. The first live had over 600 people on there. Like, shit, I'm here, bro. Flaws and all. You know, we're going to talk about it. And we're going to talk about it to the public, you know, so we can address that shit. He said, June, stop acting professional. You're going to have them hating that. Oh, yeah, bro. You know, that's, 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 they want, they want to see me act ignorant, bro. Act like a nigga, dog. And that's, I know how to conduct myself, bro. That's, you know, but it's, it's really shit genuine, dog. Like, this is just, this how I am. I understand business. <clears throat> And actually, I'm a real genuine ass nigga too. At the end of the day, like I really care, and I'm really passionate about this shit, and I'm serious about my supporters. Would it make sense to separate it into three days? Hey, honestly, on uh, Jack, I really wanted to do two days, um, but the feedback that I was getting from a two day show, it wasn't good, bro, because people was like, "Hey, we gotta go to work." We got to get back to the kids. We got to get back to the dogs. Um, we got to get back to work. You know, so like the 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 two days, he said, you lying. You know how much you make. I swear to God on my mama grave, I don't know how much money I made. Boy, let my kids drop dead right now. But I have no idea on how much money I made, dog. But y'all really don't understand, bro. Anybody who really know me, like if you know me personally, you know I don't give a fuck about no money, dog. Like I really the fuck don't. Like it's cool. You know, but I don't care about money. Like, money is never the motive. Of course I'm not broke. You know, uh, yeah, of course, nigga, I got money. Shit goes straight to the bank. But, like, I don't care about money like that to the point to where I'm excited about money, nigga. Like, I really built this shit. That shit wasn't given to me. But I've been traveling the world for seven years going to shows. My first four years in the game, I drove 10, 20, 30 hours by myself, just me and my dogs to get to shows, bro. Like, this is hard work, dedication. Like, this shit wasn't given to me. I just didn't throw a show and thousands of people popped up. Nigga, I worked for this shit, dog. Like, this shit wasn't given to me, bro. Nigga, I really worked for this shit, bro. I bust my ass for this shit, bro. Shit, real talk. Like, I really give a fuck about this shit, nigga. I really love this shit, bro. This before anything. Why not have another line for people that pay for boosts? I heard people pay a high dollar for some boosts. Boy, I know you don't know. And still had to pay a hundred dollars. Boy, I'm so glad you wrote that shit. So I can make everybody sound so stupid that keep saying that shit. I had a booth like, and this was explained for weeks and weeks and weeks and weeks, bro. Bro, y'all have to stop the bullshit and stop the dumb talk. I had a skip line, which was a hundred dollars. Y'all knew that shit. I had a booth line. And I had a general public line. 
This gonna stop all the lies and the bullshit and the dumb motherfuckers from talking. We got shut down 25 minutes before it was time to open. Doors didn't open back until 10.30. There was already thousands of people out there. There are 360 booths. 360 booths. Not including how many people per booth or how many people you brought to the show with you. So if doors don't open until 1030, if doors don't open until 1030, there are already thousands of people outside. How in the fuck are you not going to have to wait? No, no, no. We we not going to know it, Chelsea, because they need to have this understanding. Because I have seen way too many posts about this. How in the fuck are you not going to have to wait outside? And it's 360 booths. No telling how many people per person. How in the fuck are you not going to have to wait? When you have to get wristbands, you have to get envelopes and all of that shit. How in the fuck are you not going to have to wait? It's 360 people. Let's not include their kennel partners and their family and the kids and all of that that they brought with them. It's 360 people, 360 people at the least because it's 360 booths. So if it's just, just say it's one person per booth. That's 360 people. How in the fuck are you not going to have to wait if you're not even first in line? So even if it's 360 people, imagine you have to wait 360. Until 360 people getting in the building. And for the people that say they still had to pay $100 to get in. Nah, nigga. You didn't have to pay $100 to get in. You could have stayed your ass in that skip line. I mean, you could have stayed your ass in that booth line and got in free. Just like the rest of them that had to wait in that goddamn um, in that, in that, um, booth line. You chose to go through the skip line. It was understood that the skip line was a hundred dollars. You chose just because you had a booth don't mean that I'm gonna let you go through the skip line for free. It was your choice to go through that skip line and pay that hundred dollars. I took money out of my own pocket. Let me tell you how I took money out of my own pocket. I went over there to the booth line. I told everybody, I said, if you have a booth and you don't want to wait in, and you don't want to wait in this line. You can go through that skip line, pay $100, pay that $100, walk right over there to the booth, to the booth people, get your, get your envelope, get your envelope, take your two wristbands, three wristbands or four wristbands, however many wristbands you have in your envelope, take that outside to your family or your kennel partners, get them the wristbands, and then all y'all walk through the line. So everybody who's talking about they had to pay this amount. You you still got three people straight through the straight through the line, and you skip you skipped over thousands of people. <coughs> like y'all, wow! Shit, he say people still go to shows. Of course, people still go to shows. Why in the fuck wouldn't they go to shows? When you got a motherfucker who got a platform and can reach people that you can't reach, and opening up a platform to you. Or people bringing, just say you breeding and you only got clientele in your, your own state. So you got somebody with a platform that can bring states and states and states together and all from um overseas in one building. Why the fuck wouldn't you go to shows? If shows not your thing, then cool. If you don't need shows, then cool. Then don't come to these motherfuckers. I'm not getting online asking nobody to come to shows. I'm not getting online asking people, hey, can y'all come to my show? Will y'all come to Come to my show. I'm not getting on the internet sending y'all booth layouts and banners and shit like that. Asking y'all come to my shit. Come on, man. Ain't nobody asking nobody to come to shows. The show's not your thing, then don't come. Who cares? Ain't nobody gonna miss you. Shit, you come, you come, you don't, you don't. The people that like shows and want to come to shows, then we, we still go to shows and come to shows. I still go to shows. Shit, I just went to a show the week before my show. And gave, gave $500 just because. I went supported they show. Just because. Gave, gave the best in show winner, 20, best in show male, uh, $20, $250. And gave um the, the lady winner $250.
Shit. If y'all don't want to come, then don't come. Ain't no, don't nobody care. Ain't nobody going to miss you. We're not going to miss you. We're not going to say, oh, damn, such and such didn't come. It's a sad day. We don't give a fuck. <laughs> Stay your ass at home. Probably don't know you anyway. Shit. No, no disrespect. But I'm just saying. Like, and it, uh, shit, don't get on here and try to knock what a motherfucker, another motherfucker got going to what another motherfucker like because you don't like it. Shit. Don't come. We're not going to miss you. We're not even going to notice you wasn't there. Straight, straight the fuck up. Shit. Straight up. Hell yeah, enough room, uh, another booth or uh, 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 more room for the rest of us. Shit, stay your ass at home. Shit, straight up. Yeah, you right, AJ. Shit. You right. Just know. Nigga, we just threw the biggest and best show in the world, man. And my people was a part of that. My people happy. Out of thousands of people, over 5,000 people, bro, we only got like 20 people complaining, man. And everybody else that's complaining, they just jumping on the bandwagon. Most of them wouldn't even help. They just jumping on the bandwagon in the in the comments, man. Man, we had a great motherfucking time. We had a great motherfucking show. I'm proud of my staff. I'm proud of my I'm proud of my crowd. And bro, I'm I'm, I'm happy, bro. We ain't had no fights. We ain't had no no altercations. Bro, we had a good time. A lot of people made money. I'm happy as hell, man. <laughs> I'm happy as hell, dog. Like, I'm happy as fuck, bro. Shit, straight the fuck up. He say, which dog stood out? I ain't even gonna lie, bro. I don't even know what dog stood. I didn't even enjoy my own show, bro. Um, I couldn't even enjoy my own show because I was so busy. I worked the whole time. Um, I was from beginning to end, bro. I was, I was everywhere, bro. Like I couldn't even enjoy myself. So I don't even know. Um. I don't I don't even know uh what dog stood out, bro. I was I was working the whole time, bro. Like I didn't even I didn't even eat. I didn't even drink nothing at my own show, bro. Like I couldn't even enjoy my own shit. You know, so it just it's nothing I, it's it's crazy, bro. You know, but like I said, you you gotta take the good with the bad, bro. You gotta you gotta address you gotta address the good with the bad. You seem so happy with it. This time around, see Ashley. I'm I'm glad she said that because Ashley, I'm I'm my I'm I'm my big biggest critic. Um, if y'all know my last show, y'all know I was very disappointed. Um, I was not happy. Um, I I wasn't happy with how we operated. Um, as as a team, um, I wasn't happy with the crowd. I wasn't happy with the turnout of 2.0, and and y'all know this. So. If if you know from my last show to this show versus how I'm acting right now, I am very happy. I, I, I am very happy. I'm my biggest critic. So if if I felt like shit went bad or shit wasn't good, I will I will most definitely be on here tripping, man. I I will most definitely be on here tripping. I'll most definitely be on here um talking about everything that went bad, um, you know, all the problems. You know, that I most definitely be on that. But I'm not, bro. We had a great time, bro. We had a good time. Um, we we actually had a great show. Um, from especially having that big a crowd, bro, that wasn't easy to easy to deal with. Like that was a lot of fucking people, man. Like that was crazy. Shit. Hey Warren, I appreciate you and I appreciate you for jumping on that fucking booth like you did. Shit, you did exactly what you said you was going to do, nigga. Much love and respect to you. Big salute to you. You know, even though you got there a little late, you know, for setup time when I told you it was time to go. Bro, you y'all ain't say nothing back. Y'all ain't no disrespect. Bro, y'all got right to that shit. You know, did what y'all did. Y'all got up out of there respectfully. Bro, man, much love and respect to y'all, bro. I appreciate that shit, bro. You know, because a lot of people... Bro, da, da. You know, a lot of people would have went back and forth, man. Much love and respect to y'all, dog. I appreciate y'all. I appreciate every last one of y'all that came out. Um, bro, I you know, some of the things that went wrong, bro, I hate that it went wrong. Um, I, I do apologize for, for the little small things like the line and shit, but there's nothing I can do about that. 
Um, he said online registration. Say, Bert, you want to know why online registration don't work? Because a lot of people don't even know on um, what class they dogs go in, bro. You you can't imagine how many people really don't know what class they dog go in, bro. The category can be best black. And I swear to God. <laughs> hey. <laughs> I swear to God, bro. Category can be best black. And you will see a white dog get in the fucking category, dog. I swear to God, dog. It'll say best black and a motherfucker sign a white dog up in the category, dog. <laughs> like y'all really don't fucking understand how crazy this shit get, bro. Like I said, bro, you can you can make your suggestions, dog, but but y'all don't understand how crazy this shit get, man. This some crazy motherfuckers in this bully game, bro. It's some crazy ass people. Go beat them up. What Chucky is? Chucky sleep? It's some crazy people in this bully game, man. But y'all don't understand how hard it is to deal with thousands of people. But I, I love y'all. That's why I deal with y'all shit. I ain't even gonna lie to you. That's why I deal with y'all. I love y'all crazy motherfuckers. Some of y'all weird. Some of y'all weird than the bitch, too. But... I, I love y'all. I, I wouldn't change us for the world, bro. We we most definitely a one of a kind community, boy. If if we ain't nothing else, we a fucking one of a kind community, nigga. We'll we'll be fighting today and we'll be cool tomorrow, nigga. Like fuck you, fuck this, fuck your show, and two seconds later, nigga, we best friends again. We love you, we love your show, and we coming back. We don't like this, we don't like that. Fuck you, yeah, fuck you too, but. We coming back. Thank you for coming back. It's good to have you back. You know, it's like I said, bird. You know, now for show host not making adjustments, and a, a show host not not worried about how his people feel, then I can understand that. But <laughs> hey, Regina, say me, I'm weird. Hey, Regina, I'm with you too. Shit, for real, we some special motherfuckers. <laughs> you know what? Hey, it's, hey, that's us. That's that's. But that's what make us us, and that's why so many people want to be a part of our community. Bro, if y'all look at it, bro, rappers, celebrities, athletes, bro, everybody trying to be a part of our shit right now, bro. Everybody want to be part of the fucking bully community, dog. Like, we we never had access. Like, so many rappers, bro, and celebrities and athletes and shit. Bro, you, what, baby? Go whoop his ass. <laughs> bro, we would think that we could never get beside these people. Right now, today, we have these people calling our phone. We have these people trying to buy dogs from us. We have these people coming to our dog shows. We have these people trying to hit us up and learn from us, asking us, hey, what you do with a dog if this happened? What you do with a dog if that happened? Hey, how you start a kennel? Bro, these same people that we used to listen to when we was kids... Now trying to be a part of us and now looking up to us. Like, we got fucking rappers and celebrities that we've been looking up to forever. Calling us big bro and big dogs and calling our phone like like we one of them. They 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 worth millions. They network worth millions. And, 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 and bro, people all over the world respect them. And they calling us and, and messaging us, calling us big dogs and big bro and... Telling us how they look up to us and telling us, hey, bro, can I get a picture with you? Shit, any other time, shit, we trying to take pictures with them. We we trying to take pictures with them. Shit, they in the building now trying to take pictures with us. The fucking road, the road had reverse. <laughs> shit. Like, you know, it's, it's, it's different. Like he said, they just want a bag out of it. Yeah, they probably do, but the role has still reversed. You know, bro, it's, it's different now. Like, everybody want to be a part of our community, dog. Nigga, that's major. That's fucking major. Say, bro, we, we, we probably a billion-dollar industry, bro. It's to a point to what people... Now, I ain't gonna lie, we do have some bad apples. We do have people with bad breathing ethics. We do have people that don't know how to breathe at all. But at the at the end of the day, 
Bro, we a damn billion dollar industry, bro. To the point where people don't even want us breeding these motherfuckers. And it's not all about the money and everybody don't make money with this shit. But, bro, this to the point to where these motherfuckers don't even want us breeding these bitches because the amount of money that can be possibly um, made in this shit, bro. Like, we really have the world attention right now, bro. Like, whether they like it or not. We really have, and it's good attention, it's, it's bad attention, it's good eyes and it's bad eyes. But we really have a world motherfucking attention right now, bro. Like these motherfuckers are really looking up to us. We got motherfuckers that hate us that don't even know us. Because of the amount of, of shit that we generate. Whether it's numbers, whether it's money, or whether it's whatever. Niggas, a lot of people don't like what we have going because the 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 numbers that we generate, bro. So you know, it's it's the good gonna come with the bad, and you gotta take the good with the bad. You know, whether it's breeding dogs, you know, whether it's you know selling puppies, stud fees, whether it's throwing the show. Uh, Jeremiah, what's up? Um, regardless of what it is, bro. Um, just it's it's gonna be what it is, bro. You know, like I said, you gotta take the good with the bad. You no, know, but you just can't steal away from the problems. You can't point fingers at others. Um, regardless of who did what, I'm going to take the blame for anything that happened at my show. I'm not going to let my staff take the blame for it. You can complain about the door. You can complain about concession stand. You can complain about registration. They're going to take the heat for all that. You know, everything was my fault. My staff ain't do shit. My staff did exactly what they supposed to be and did. Shit, they worked their ass off from fucking 8 o'clock in the morning. The day before, they worked their ass off from 8 o'clock in the morning to motherfucking 10 o'clock that night. And, and, and some of the staff worked their ass off for six fucking months. Shit, so I'm not, I'm not, I'm, I'm not letting my staff take no heat. You know, if y'all want to blame somebody, I take the blame for all that shit. It's my fault. It, you know, it is what it is. You know, we you know if you come back, that's fine. If you don't, that's fine too. You know, um, I, I do listen to the good and the bad. So most definitely, I'll be making adjustments. Um, it is some things that I seen. I I know some bad decisions made. This weekend, I do not take nothing away from that. Yes, there was some bad decisions made this weekend. I seen it. But I, I'm i not the type. I'm not going to confront my staff in front of the crowd. I'm not going to confront my staff on the Internet. Um, I will be taking care of those problems and making those adjustments. Turn that light back on. Don't do that. Thank you. Thank you. I, I will be making those adjustments um, to, to make it better. For next show, yes, I, I I do know what went what what went bad. You know, I I do know the situations that went bad. Um, without y'all even saying it, I seen it. But I I would never address my staff um in front of the crowd, bro. You know, I just have to take the bad that that came with it, and and make the adjustments for next show to where it can be better, and better judgments can be made. Um, I seen I seen the same thing that y'all seen. You know, I'm I'm not I'm not here to say, oh you lying, oh that's no that didn't happen. No, I'm I'm not gonna say that because when I actually got a chance to sit down and stop running around like a chicken with my head cut off and I actually sat back to watch um what was going on, I I, I seen the same the same that a, a lot of people seen too. You know, so you know, those adjustments will be made. Um, you know, my people will be handled um, accordingly as well. But that's not for me to address um, in public, most definitely not at my show. And it's, it's, it's not for me to address it on the Internet on um, bad judgments um, or things that, that maybe my staff did wrong or that you feel like I did wrong. Um, it's, it's not for me to address them or, or, you know, whatever, um, in, in front of thousands and thousands and thousands of people, you know, now things that you didn't like about the show, I take that, you know, I address that right here. Um, that's, that's cool. Um, I, like I said, I take the heat for everything that happened, 
but I'm most definitely not gonna put my my staff in in a in in a bad light um in front of so many people that I know watching, bro. I'm not gonna do that. You know, uh, regardless of what, if even if I don't like, um, even if I don't like some of the calls that that my staff made, I'm still not gonna throw them out there like that. Oh uh, yeah, that that cleaning crew was the motherfucker. They was on it. They was on it for real. Um, I waited in line three hours. Ain't nothing I can do about that, dog. I ain't gonna lie. It's it's just different, bro. You got thousands of people. Um. Um, you got thousands of people at, at one show at one time, bro. It's it's gonna be a wait, um, especially when you have metal detectors, um, and, and shit like that. Hey, hold up, baby, that they don't lie. Hold up. Hey, go in there, Deontay, so y'all can talk. You can take that in there too if you need to. Just make sure you put that right back, cause I don't need y'all falling on that. Okay. Um. You got thousands of people in line at the same time, bro. It's it's just it's it's gonna be like that. Everybody had to go through metal detectors. The metal detectors slow shit down. And and you know, not I'm not gonna put the blame on, on the people, but even when I went outside and said, if you got guns, knives, or drugs on you, and that metal detector pick it up, you gonna go to jail. Bro, do you know how many people had to walk out of line because they had a gun or a knife on them? So each time that I went outside and I announced that shit, guess what? Somebody had a gun or a knife on them. He said the lines outside was nowhere near organized. They should have been aligned with people, their dogs in line. So you know who fault that is? That's y'all fault. <laughs> The fuck you mean? It's y'all fault that the lines wouldn't align. Nigga, y'all grown ass motherfucking people. Nigga, what you want my staff to go out there and tell y'all to get in the single file line so one of y'all can try to fight? So one of y'all can try to fight the staff? Daddy, what, can baby? me and brother play outside, please? It's too out there. Yeah, it's, it's raining right now. Wait until, wait until it dry up, then y'all can go outside and play, okay? Okay. Okay. But what what the fuck you want me to do? Come outside and argue and fight with y'all? Is it tell y'all to get in a single file line? You got families in groups of tens and twenties. Of course it's not the line not gonna be organized. It's bruh, how many how many people you think we can have without having so many people inside, bruh? We can't tell grown ass men how to how to how to line up, bruh. Come on, bruh. Like he said your security wasn't on point. Bro, these are grown ass people, dog. <laughs> the fuck I supposed to do? Like y'all crazy. <laughs> he said I walked in with my shit in there. Security didn't search me. Yeah, I'm a um ban your ass too. I'm glad you told me. Hold up. Who just said that? Ooh. And security ass fired too. I ain't even worried about it because they won't be coming back. I know security fucked up. Ain't nothing I could have did about that. But that's that's they won't be coming back anyway. So they ass fired. So I ain't even tripping about that. They most definitely ain't coming back. That was wild. That was wild as hell. Then why would you even want to bring a gun or something in there anyway, bro? Like answer, answer, answer me that, bro. Why, why would you want to bring a gun or a knife to a dog show, bro? Where, where it's kids and shit at, dog? Like I don't understand that, bro. Like answer, answer that, answer that for me, bro. Like why, why would you even, why would you even want to bring a a gun or a knife in there? 
and you know his kids in there. But see, y'all, y'all complaining, y'all complaining about a lion, bro. The side door, everyone was coming in while you were waiting in line, bro. It was a side door because that's what. The... Bro, just don't come to another rumble in the jungle, dog. Respectfully, though, dog. No disrespect to you. You know, no, no, no love loss, no nothing, bro. Just. A lot of that shit just out of my control, dog. Like, just don't even don't even come back. That's that's all I can tell you, bro. Just don't come back. Like, just don't come back, dog. If if you had that many problems about the line and people that couldn't get in, then just don't come back, bro. That's 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 all I can say to you, bro. You coming to a show with thousands of people. When the doors opened, it was already thousands of people out there. Can't just let people bomb rush in, dog. So if it's like if you can't understand that and it's that big of an issue, just don't come back. And matter of fact, if you you pay thirty dollars to come in, I refund you your money. Send me your cash out. I send you your money back and just don't come back. That's that's it's easy. It's as simple as that, bro. Send me your cash out. Message me right now. Send me your cash out. The money that you spent to get in. I'm going to send you your money back and don't come back. But just know I'm going to screenshot your shit and I'm going to take, I'm going to take, I'm going to screenshot your picture and just don't come back. And, and, and it ain't no taking it in for your safety. Nigga, it's kids in there. It's kids in the building. So why would you need a gun for your safety, dog? Tell me, why would you need a gun for your safety? And it wasn't no fights in there. Come on, bro. That's dumb as fuck. It wasn't even no fights in there. Did anybody fuck with you? Did anybody try to fight you in there? Come on, bro. Did anybody do anything to you in there? Did you get into it with anybody in there? No. Exactly, nigga. It was no fights in that bitch. It was over 5,000 people in that motherfucker, and there was no fights in that motherfucker, dog. Nigga, I told y'all ahead of time. Nigga, it was going to be police in there. It was going to be security in there. My people was going to be in there and it was going to be metal detectors, dog. It was no fights in there. So safety or what? Safety or what? Ain't nobody do nothing to you. Come on, dog. Make that shit make sense, bro. So for your safety, let's talk about it. For your safety, if you would have if you would have got into it with somebody, and somebody and you would have shot somebody, your ass was gonna go to jail for the rest of your fucking life, dog. You was gonna go to jail for the rest of your fucking life, bruh. If you would have got into it with somebody and you would have shot somebody in that bitch. It don't matter what happened. It don't matter who you got into it with. If you would have shot somebody in that venue, your ass would have went to jail for the rest of your fucking life. Because somebody hit you and you 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 decided to not hit that motherfucker back. You decided to not hit that nigga back, decided to pull your gun out and shoot that person in that venue with older people, with kids and thousands of other people in that fucking venue, dog. And your ass was going to go to jail for the rest of your fucking life and your ass going to be sitting in jail, dog. Your ass was going to be sitting in jail for the rest of your fucking life, sitting in that bitch like, damn, bro, I just could have walked off. Or oh, damn, bro, I just could have sat there and fought. Because you decided to sit there and try to shoot a nigga at a fucking show because he popped your ass. And his kids in the building. Or you fuck up and miss him and shoot somebody that ain't had nothing to do with it. Or shoot somebody's child and get your ass killed before you even leave out the parking lot. Make it make sense for me, homie. Make it make sense for me, dog. And I ain't even disrespecting you or nothing. But make make it make sense for me. Because I don't even need you to come back to my show. I don't even need you to come back, bro. I am, I'm not, I don't care about that little money, dog. I don't even care about that little money, dog. Come on, bro. Gotta make that shit make sense, bro. Talking about some fucking safety. Shit ain't got nothing to do with nothing. But security most definitely fired. Thank you. 
They was fired anyway because they was trash. Security was trash as hell. Security was trash, dog. I ain't even finna lie about that. Security was trash ass. They ass was fired anyway, but they most definitely fired. Matter of fact, they gonna get a call or an email. Yeah, you can do coolers. You just can't have no liquor in it. You can do coolers this time. Next show, you can do coolers, but no liquor. No liquor and no beer. I'm not doing uh, liquor and beer, bro. That's that's the first show I threw with no no liquor and beer, no fights. The first two th the, the first two shows I threw a lot of liquor and beer. Guess what? They had fights. Even though we broke it up immediately. This show right here, no liquor and beer, no fights. Come on, bro. Like at, 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 the end, at the end of the day, bro, I'm going to protect my people, bro. What about moonshine? Boy, we all will be fucked up. Shit, we most definitely ain't going to have no fights if it's moonshine that bit. We all going to be asleep. <laughs> yeah, we're going to do a cooler search. But yeah, y'all y'all can do coolers and shit next time. We not we most definitely going to check coolers, though. Huh? Beat them up then. He said, how many dogs you have passed away? I don't know. Shit. Dogs didn't pass away because it was hot in the building. Dogs pass away because motherfuckers ain't paying attention to their dogs. Then you got motherfuckers that's waiting until the dog down there about to die to sit up there and say something. Shit, it ain't my fault dogs died. I can't control um the fucking line. It's thousands of people out there. Matter of fact, if you standing outside and you know it's hot outside... Why in the fuck wouldn't you be paying attention to your dog? Y'all steady talking about fucking dogs dying like I'm the reason why the fucking dogs died. Or like I'm the reason why like like the fucking venue was just burning the fuck up. Um, The reason why the fucking dogs died. Nigga, you motherfuckers not paying attention to the dogs is why the fucking dogs died, nigga. Then y'all steady talking about 15, 20 dogs died. Nigga, ain't no fucking 15, 20 dogs died. You motherfuckers neglecting your dogs is why the motherfucking dogs died. Nigga, I had to get on the mic and fuss at you motherfuckers and tell y'all, yes, I did get on the mic. I stopped the whole show, my own show, to fuss at you motherfuckers to tell y'all the signs of when your dog is running hot and when your dog has overheated. What to look for and what you do, why to use certain things when your dog has overheated. Nigga, it's y'all motherfucking fault dogs died. It's not my staff fault. It's not my fault. No, I do not have to provide y'all with shit. I provided y'all with a cooling station with fans in there. Two booths with fans in there. Two fans in there. So the dogs can cool down. I had fucking PDL light. I had um, rubbing alcohol. And I had lemon juice. Guess what y'all did? Y'all stole it. Y'all fucking stole it. This is not motherfucking Walmart. So no, once it's gone, yes, it's gone. What you want me to do? Leave the fucking venue and go buy some more? No, nigga, y'all stole it. Y'all took it upon y'all self to take the fucking lemon juice, take the alcohol, and take the fucking Pedialyte for your motherfucking self. You know how many shows don't even provide y'all with that shit? It is not my motherfucking job to provide y'all with that shit. I love dogs. I am a motherfucking animal lover. So I provide y'all with that shit. It is not my job to stop what I'm doing and come help you save your job, but I still do it. Y'all stole the fucking lemon juice. Y'all stole the fucking alcohol. And y'all stole the motherfucking Pedialyte. That's why we ran out of the shit. Because y'all stole it. Instead of using it for your fucking dog, getting your dog back right, and taking into consideration of the other fucking people, you decided to take it. But y'all want to complain about the fucking dogs that died. It wasn't fucking hot. If it was hot outside, guess what? Leave the fucking dogs in the car until your ass get to the front and get your fucking wristbands, then go back and get your dogs. I shouldn't even have to tell you that. It's coming fucking since. It's a fucking line with thousands of people in the fucking line. You know you not about to be, you not about to be um in the venue no time soon. Put the fucking dog in the car or cut the fucking air on or or leave the dog in the car with somebody and until y'all get up to the front of the line, 
Get your fucking wristbands and go back, get your people and get the dogs. Bro, I can't, I cannot fucking be with y'all every, it's thousands of people. I cannot be with you every fucking step of the way and hold your fucking hand. Fuck you want me to do? Nigga, y'all knew it was going to be thousands of people at that motherfucker. What you want me to do? Have a meet and greet? You want me to throw that motherfucker at a park? And get y'all a platform of a couple hundred people? Come on, bro. Out of over 5,000 people, I only see 20 motherfuckers complaining and the rest of people bandwagoning them, bro. And the only thing y'all complaining about is a fucking line. The fuck y'all expect? <laughs> Shit. If I threw a show and there wasn't no line, y'all be mad because there was nobody there. If I threw a show and there wasn't that many people there, y'all be complaining because there wasn't that many people there. Come on, dog. Fuck you want me to do? And y'all want to know how many people we had? Exactly, we had 12,071 people. We had 12,071 people come through that fucking show, man. We just got the accurate count. 12,071 people. How in the fuck do you expect me to control 12,000 people, bro? Over 12,000 people. How in the fuck you expect me to control every situation at every second? Ha! 12,000 people, motherfucker. <laughs> motherfucker. What y'all expect me to do, dog? I had to make that post. Hold up, y'all. I'm making a post. I'm happy as shit right now. But at the same time, imagine imagine having 12,000 people and no fights. 12,000 people and no fights. 12,000 people and none of y'all got hurt. 12,000 people and only we only lost a few dogs. We only lost a few dogs out of 12,000 people, bro. And we we lost a few dogs due to neglect. We lost a few dogs due to neglect, bro. Shit. Come on, dog. Cause y'all just don't know, bro. Motherfucker just gave y'all a platform, bruh, of over 12,000 people, bruh, for you to show your dog. Come on, bro. <laughs> Come on, bruh. And y'all still want to complain about some a line, dog. A fucking line. Come on, man. Come on, bro. I don't know. You gotta try to find that. I'm gonna take the blame for it, though. It's cool. You ain't, you ain't gotta take the blame for your dog dying. You ain't gotta take the blame for knowing there's thousands of people in line. You ain't you ain't gotta take the blame for some shit that I ain't had no control over. I take the blame for it. It's all good. It's all good. I take that. It's cool. I be the bad guy, dog. I be the bad guy. And then the cold part about it is I I threw away, I threw two thousand dollars to the crowd, bro, just because I knew y'all stayed in line, bro. I threw two thousand dollars of my money. 
$2,000 of my money, bro. Because I told y'all, I knew y'all had to stand in that long ass line, dog. I threw $2,000 in the crowd because I knew. Because I knew y'all had to wait in that line, bro. Because I knew it wasn't y'all fault. It wasn't my fault either. And I still threw $2,000 in the crowd. Just cause. Come on, bro. <laughs> Come on, dog. And then somebody say, you only threw $2,000 to one side. <laughs> of course I threw $2,000 to one side. They got threw $2,000 to one side because that was my side. And we were louder than y'all. You should have told your people to make some goddamn noise. He's steady talking about how many dollars died. I heard about it. <laughs> Boy, y'all still talking dumb as hell, bro. People talking about, I heard fifteen twenty dollars died. You stupid as fuck if you think fifteen twenty dollars died, nigga. You got to be dumb as a motherfucker to think fifteen or twenty dollars died. If fifteen or twenty dollars died, you need to be mad at fifteen or twenty owners for letting they fucking dog overheat and not say shit. And a venue was that was not hot enough for fucking dogs to be overheat, nigga. Yeah, that. You need to find out the owners. For one, one owner that dog died. When I walked in the line, his dog was panting. I was telling everybody with a dog, I need you to go to the front of the line. Yeah, y'all not gonna talk about that though. I walked that fucking hot ass line too. I was out there too. Every dog that was panting, I told him to go in the line. I mean, go, go, go to the front. Every dog that was panting or breathing with their mouth open, I told him to go to the front. When I get to this fucking bulldog, he's standing there talking to his people. The fucking dog tongue is purple. I say, say, bro, I need you to get in the inside. I turn around. He's still standing there. I say, say, bro, I need you to go in the inside. By the time I, I finish doing that, I get to the inside. His fucking dog, his dog dying. He doing CPR. He mad at me. I say, hold up. Ain't you the person that I told you to go to the inside? So how in the fuck y'all want to be mad and steady talking about, I heard about all the dog, dogs dying at Roma in the jungle. Nigga, it's your fault your fucking dog dying because you're not watching your dogs. Come on, bro. Bro, what in the fuck are adding shop fans outside going to do? Bro, if you if it's hot outside, which... <laughs> bro, if it's hot outside and you put fans outside, fans are going to blow hot air, bro. <laughs> Come on, dog. Like, y'all not fucking thinking. And how in the fuck are the fans going to run outside, bro? When you got lines with thousands of people in the fucking line, how in the fuck are you going to run fans all the way the fuck down, round, and down there? Come on, bro. Y'all not even thinking, dog. <laughs> y'all just talking, bro. I swear to God, bro. Not even 90% of y'all, bro, would have been able to stand in my shoes on Saturday, bro. <laughs> Say, dog. You cannot, I don't give a fuck. You cannot put fucking fans outside. How in the fuck we gonna run fans outside, bruh? It's thousands of people in line. How in the fuck we gonna run fans? No, nigga, pay attention to your fucking dog. That's what you got a car for. Put the motherfucker in the car and turn the air on. How about that? <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Nigga, I'm supposed to defend myself. Fuck you, me. I'm too much of a defender. No, nigga. I'm supposed to defend this shit. You made the comment. Nigga, I'm going to respond to it. Don't tell me I'm too much of a defender, nigga. This is just how I talk. It is what it is. Nigga, anybody on here who know me know I don't, I don't mean no harm, nigga. This is how I talk. So you either not not um say shit and I won't respond, nigga. I don't mean no harm, but you said something and I answered that motherfucker. This is how I talk, nigga. It is what it is. Shit. He said, your house ain't got outlets outside. My house had outlets outside. I know most buildings do. <laughs> it's a venue, bro. Oh, okay. You got it. You right. You right. It's, it's my fault. 
You you totally right, bro. Nah, you right. It's my fault. It's it's my fault. I should have had fans all down that motherfucker, bro. It's my fault. You right. Okay, that's a little. It's it's most definitely my fault. I should have been telling everybody to pay attention to their dog. I should have had them bitches fans on every dog. It's my fault, bro. It's it's most definitely my fault, dog. It's my fault. My fault, dog. <laughs> most definitely my fault, dog. Most definitely my fault, G. Most definitely my fault. <laughs> Y'all, hell, man. It's my fault, bro. I take the blame for that shit. He say they have fans with no cars. You can buy invest investment Home Depot. You right? It's my fault. I should have had fans outside. I should I should have had I should have had twelve thousand fans out there for twelve thousand people. You show sure right, bro. You show sure right. He say no fan, just cooler weather. You right, I can control the weather too, dog. I can most definitely control the weather and tell the weather to be cold. Shit, this motherfucking March the 19th, bro. I can control the weather, my boy. I even said I ain't, I ain't on no bullshit either. You the one who's steady talking. Nigga, you, you sitting up here talking about I'm trying to clown you because I said you right. Come on, bro. What you want me to do? You want me to argue with you and say you right? Like, goddamn, nigga, what the fuck you want me to do? Daddy. Oh, yeah, Varric. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For sure, for sure. Daddy. But, what, but, but what you want me to do? What, baby? Take it, hit me. Whoop his ass. I'm going to whoop But, like, what, what you want me to do, bro? You want me to argue with you or you want me to just tell you you right? Like, goddamn, nigga, I can't win with you one way or the other. Shit, when I went back and forth with you, you telling me I'm going back and forth with you. When I tell you you right, now it's, nigga, I'm... Trying to clown you like goddamn dog, what you want me to do? <laughs> shit. Like, goddamn, nigga, you can't make you niggas happy for shit. That's that's crazy, bro. That's like I don't even know what you want me to do, bro. Shit. Bro, I'm not being disrespectful to you. You know what? I'm going to stop talking to you. If you think I'm being disrespectful to you, I'm just going to stop talking to you. So I won't be being disrespectful to you, dog. I'm just going to let you talk. Because I'm not being, I'm most definitely not being disrespectful to you. So I'm just going to shut up. Because I don't want you to think I'm being disrespectful to you. Because you, you tripping right now. I'm most definitely not being disrespectful to you. So... That's crazy. Took me for a loop. <laughs> hey, y'all crazy, man. Um, <laughs> hey, we gonna start working on four point oh tomorrow, man. We can get get back on the positive strip. We gonna start working on four point oh tomorrow. Um. Well, y'all have made me lose my train of thought, boy. Um, I'm going to start working on 4.0 tomorrow. So probably by next week, I'll be able to get y'all a date. And I'll be able to get y'all um, a location, man. Hey! But Take it, baby. I'm going to get off here, man. I'm tending to my kids, man. Enjoy my kids. No. Then I need Take to make a couple hand. phone calls to get some, Put your hand off. Get some stuff taken care of, man. But y'all crazy, man. Y'all wow. <laughs> God damn.
when the booth layout gonna drop, I gotta see where I'ma throw it at first and when. Uh, once I see where I'ma throw it at and when, then I come up with a layout. Um, it's some wild shit though. He say June really usually block motherfuckers for this. Y'all better trade like yeah, you know you like block people, bro. But like I said, bro, you gotta um you 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 gotta take the good with the bad. Um and like especially after a show like that, you 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 wanna hear the the negative shit, you know, so you can look into it and actually see if it was something that that you can fix or if it was just something out of your reach. Um you know, um it's, it's you know, you gotta it, um accept the good with the bad. So I, I that's why I'm not blocking nobody, bro. I'm just letting them let them get it all out. So we ain't gotta deal with nobody making no posts after this and we ain't gotta deal with nobody complaining and shit like that, man. You know, we gonna get it out the way and let it be that. You know, we address it right here in front of everybody so everybody uh you know, know what's going on and have their own point of view, man. So you know, I'm not going to block nobody. We're not going to stay away from no problems. Uh, man, we had a great show, bro. You know, a little hiccup. You know, but like I said, man, you got fucking 12,000 people. <laughs> 12,000 people at a show, man. Is You know, shit, what, what you want me to do, bro? Um, I, I hate anything bad that happened. Um, I, I hate... Um... um any any bad any any bad situation you had, um, or experience that you had at the jungle, but like I said, certain things was was out of my control, bro. I, I wish I could have got y'all in faster. You know, it's it just it's, it was out of my reach, out of my control, and like I said, security did do a bad job. I'm most definitely not bringing them back. Um, they they did they did do a horrible job. Um, I hired them and they was trying to tell me what to do. Um, niggas telling me what to do, telling me what they not going to do, uh, telling me what my people need to do. Um, I went, I went through it too. You know, I, it's, it's, it's shit, there's nothing I can really say, bro. Like they, they put me through it. Um, you know, I, like I said, I just, I just gotta, I just gotta take the good with the bad, bro. Um, certain things I will listen to. Um, certain things I feel like is just nonsense. Uh, so certain things w won't be fixed because there's no need to fix it. But um, most definitely, um, most definitely, um, it'll, it'll be some adjustments made, man. So um, when will footage be posted from the show? Uh, just whenever my camera people um, get it together. Um, I had three different camera crews working, um, as far as the staff go. Um, and then I had other people shooting too. Somebody car got broken Friday evening, but no issues Saturday. So he said he decided to not speak on it. Yeah, Joe. Hey, Joe, I ain't gonna lie to you. Um, I was really shook up, um, Friday, bro. Um, because I was like, if, if they broke in the car Friday... I was like, we're in trouble Saturday, bro. <clears throat> and the last thing that, that I wanted was for people to, to, to come back and be like, oh, my car. Got... Bro, I honestly, I was really shook because I honestly thought that everybody was going to go outside and people's cars was going to be broke in, bro. So I was I was shook, bro. Like, I was really frustrated. Um, Friday, bro, I, I was just hoping the whole day, bro, that. I didn't, you know, um, get that call that people cars being broken to, bro. So that was a blessing, bro. Bro, you still going on about this shit? I was never being negative. I was trying to get suggestions to someone. Thought, would... bro, I'm not even talking. No, I, bro, I ain't said nothing to you in like 15, 20 minutes, bro. Like, and you still, you still going on and on and on and on, bro. And I ain't said shit to you. Like, it's like you want me to argue with you, bro. You want me to go back and forth with you. I ain't said shit to you in like 10 minutes. And you just wrote a long-ass fucking paragraph. Bro, I ain't said shit to you. Like, that's crazy. 
Like you steady talking about somebody disrespected you and I ain't said shit to you in like 10 minutes. And you steady going on and on, dog. I ain't even said nothing to you. Come on, dog. I ain't even said shit. Come on, bro. That's crazy. Come on, dog. I ain't even disrespect you from the jump. And then when you said I disrespected you, I just decided to tell you you right and stop talking to you. And now, bro, you still tripping, dog. I ain't even said nothing to you. Nigga, I told you I, you was right, and I left you alone. Come on, bro. That's crazy, dog. I ain't even said nothing to you. I said you was right, and I left it at that. Hey, like, come on, bro. That don't, that don't make no sense, bro. That's crazy. Man, let me get up out this shit, man. I need to enjoy my kids, bro. Let me get off here.